Welcome back, this is episode 2. So we're having, uh, just gonna have all the duplicates rush through their nighttime cycle so they can get started on the next day. Got a few tasks queued up. Uh, these damn shine bugs are waking everybody up, unfortunately. But uh, I can't really do anything about that right now. Alright, they're up and running. So we're gonna try and build some farm tiles down here to get these oxy ferns working. Uh, they don't produce a lot of oxygen, but it's one of the only ways we can do it here. I'll have to get into um, the rust processing into oxygen. Um, but I, I think we'll need to research something for that because there's nothing in the oxygen category there. Uh, not having any algae is really very unusual. Um, well, unusual relative to all the time through the beta. Where the starting area had loads of algae in it and would keep you running until, you know, day 100 or something. No problems. But, um, yeah, we've only got a few oxalite tiles helping us at the moment. And, uh, that doesn't really help get oxygen over here, or... Hmm. Okay, so we want... One, two, three, four. And I suppose we'll actually build the farms down, the next layer down here probably. Oh, I need to prioritize that because Barney's stuck at the moment. Can't go anywhere. I uh, probably need to dig up that tree because it's going to be in the way. Who's idle? Gossman. Gossman's finished digging. I don't think you've finished. Oh, you can't get out. Okay, well you can dig up that tree then. So if I dig up the tree, the uh, tile underneath, that tree should just turn into a seed. Yep, there we go. Oh, and it dropped some lumber as well. 300 kilograms. At least Gossman can get out, that's the main thing. Yeah, there's not a lot of oxygen down here. I probably should have Barney focus on running the manual generator since she's got good operations skills. Um, actually, I think Barney's now stuck. Damn, I've done it again. Um, nothing I can get Barney to do, is there? Did she dig? Nope. Um, oh, we'll just have to wait a second. Uh, Josh has finished powering that up, so he'll run down. Get this built quickly. No, I'm going to have him recalculate his priorities there. Just manually move him to a different tile and he'll reassess once once he arrives. There we go. Ah, Barney's producing all this natural gas. See the orange around everywhere? That's all Barney's work. Thanks for that. Alright, so we're going to put some farm tiles down. Uh, I think we'll just put them down like this. Maybe some over this side as well. Yeah, where is it? Oxyfern seed. Yep. Um, all going okay so far? Barney's got heaps of farming work to do actually.
Oh, I can't do that because the arbitrary is in the way. Right. I really don't know how many of these. How do they go domestically? We'll have to wait and see until they need water. So somebody's going to run over here and grab some water. Somebody, eventually, one day, maybe. Supplying farming materials, yeah. Okay, so Barney's going to be prioritizing that as a part of the farming work. Alright, Gossman's finished all the digging work that we've assigned so far, so we'll get some more digging done. Um, probably up there. Along here a bit. And maybe there as well. There we go. Okay, so this oxyfern's running now. And now that it's domesticated, it's producing quite a lot of... Nearly as much as one duplicate. I say 600. 600 milligrams, so we need three of those per duplicate to sustain things, but the thing is it'll chew up all the carbon dioxide down here. Um, wait, that's only... Whoops, I was looking at the wrong number. 31 grams a second, that's nothing. That's hardly anything, that can't be enough. Surely you can do more. 31 grams? That's nothing. So we need three of these per... Is it three? 31 grams per second, and these guys use uh, oxygen. He's not going to show it down here because he's not actually breathing properly. Uh, 100 grams a second, yeah. So we need three of these per duplicate. Uh, but they're using 625 milligrams of carbon, and I don't think we're producing anywhere near that much. Six. Oh no, that's about right actually. Okay, so three, uh, three of these will consume as much carbon as a duplicate breathes out. So that works okay. Only thing is we've run out of seeds. Maybe we'll leave that there. That's already working on carbon. Of course, domestically they do do better. So, all right, what have we got? Jumbo battery, switch, and wire bridge. None of those are any good for us, actually. Can't use any of those. Um, let's pop down some more tiling. And look at all this natural gas accumulating. Ugh. Oh, I need some tiles here go across. And we put down some here. There we go. So that'll at least stabilize things a little bit. Some of that oxygen will drift up here. Um, we are going to need more though because the main thing that's going to consume oxygen right at this stage when we've only got four duplicates is actually each tile we dig out is um, one full day's worth of um, no it's much more than that actually oh no it's uh, two what do they breathe in? 100 grams per second um, each tile that we breathe out, each tile that we dig up, um, sort of allows another nearly 2,000 oxygen to occupy it. So the the rate at which we dig consumes oxygen faster than the duplicates breathe it at the moment. It's the biggest factor. So yeah. It's looking, looking like we're making some progress. I might speed things up a little bit here.
Joshua's little red bar there is to do with his uh, oxygen. Uh, when he was down using this toilet, he wasn't able to breathe properly, so his uh, oxygen meter went down. What I could do is, with these shrine bugs, keep them out of here by closing these doors, but uh, hopefully they will, they tend to drift up the map, so if I get this one out of here and up here, I'll, I'll maybe close that door so that that um, bunk room isn't... Whoops. Let's slow things down now a bit. Uh, yeah, so that bunk bunk room... Not so much overlit. Have we got any more oxyphone seeds? I have. Let's, let's dig that out as well so that there's um, a bit more room for the air to... Swish about. Uh, and I'd rather Barney dig that up. Not Barney. I'd rather uh, Gossman dig that up. Another thing to consider is each um, each one of these plants is consuming water, and we don't start with a lot of water in this particular area. We've only got two very little pools. Uh, oh, we've got this down here. 20 degrees. Might have to look into that. Yeah, this is a really small amount of water compared to what um, the normal maps start with. So. Some big challenges. Who earned a skill point there? Ellie. Well, Ellie's going to want to do some more researching, so we might just get that skill point allocated right now. Um, into research, that's going to give her plus two to science, which will help her research faster. And she'll be able to get a hat once we go back in here. Can we do this again? Duplicate skills. Advanced research. She's got this kind of weird looking hat. The What that's supposed to be is like um, light bulbs. It's like a little um, metal grill with light bulbs on it. It's kind of a weird science hat. And I would have thought maybe they would have a like a hat with a propeller on it. <laughs> One of those kind of nerdy ones, you know? Um, yeah, I reckon that would be much cuter than the... Uh, the hat with light bulbs on it. It's a bit weird. Uh, what's next? We don't have any more oxyphones. We need to dig up. More of these things, though. So, they produce about four times more oxygen when they're domesticated, by the looks of it. Alright, Gossman's got a skill point. Gossman is our digger. So, we're going to have Gossman get um, a skill point there. Gives her another two to excavation. And I can't choose her hat until she goes back to the gate. I think the jobs board was better than the... Um, I reckon the jobs board was better. Jobs board was how they used to get skills and jobs and things. Having the gate do it feels kind of weird. Uh, but your hat is a little mining hat. That's pretty appropriate. I also think they should, um, like, it's a nice feature that you can change their hats manually, but I think by default it should give them the profession that they're currently in. So if they have no hat and you give them a skill point, they should automatically put that hat on. But, uh, you can't have everything. Or maybe Clay haven't thought of everything yet. They've thought of a lot, though. This game's really great and I love it. Lots of fun. Uh, I suppose I want to dig this tree up. I don't really know what I'm going to use the trees for yet. They're all a bit unknown to me. I should dig up that oxyfern though, because we can use that seed and get another farm tile down here. Yeah. So look at the oxygen. It's already quite thin here. At least it is building up here from 
and there's a good amount of carbon that'll keep that running for a while. Hopefully there's more seeds in these little uh, damaged rocks like that. So where it's got that little pattern there, if we look it'll say, uh, on the tooltip it'll say buried object. That's usually where you find seeds and things like that. So if we dig up some of those we might get some more um, oxyfern seeds. Uh, if we really run low too we can tap into here, but as soon as I do that then all the carbon's going to drift down there. <laughs> so it's a double edged sword. Digging further down. Attribute increase for Joshua. Alright, so skills into Joe. Well, no, that was an attribute increase, not a skill. Not a skill point. So the attribute increase is just um because he's been doing so much building, he's gotten better at it naturally. I think that's what that means. And we see his skills, construction seven. Uh, maybe it was it was actually athletics. He's been running around a lot. Hmm. And we're nearly done with the next level of um, research, so we'll be able to build some power plants soon. Although I have nothing to power, so that'll be interesting. We can power the research station, <laughs> I guess, but uh, not much else. What's going on here? We need some water. There we go. And what else have we got? We got any more seeds yet? Hmm. Uh, let's dig that out and build. Whoops! Build some more ladder. Like that. And going to the next research. So what's next? We need oxygen. Um, so I need to find this rust thing. Where is it? Aha. Under liquids. Okay. So the electrolyzer. Yep. We don't have a lot of water, so I'm not so keen on that. But this rust deoxidizer converts rust into oxygen and chlorine. Okay. All right. So we need to go into that. And uh, we get another new duplicate tomorrow, or we can, probably will, because I like to get lots of duplicates quickly, even though my oxygen's really going to be a bit pressed here. But uh, I wonder how far down this goes. Oh, look, this is algae. Oh, fantastic. Nice. Okay, so I can get into there and get a oxygen diffuser running. Right. And I can actually tap into this as well. There's a few more options there. We get coal generator and wood burner. Yeah. Where do I want to build a coal generator? Maybe if I cordon off the farm somehow. Put the coal generator behind the farms or something. So the coal generator makes a lot of um, carbon. It outputs 20 grams a second, uh, which is like, if we look at Joshua, for example, he's exhaling only two grams per second. So one coal plant is 10 duplicates exhaling. I've done that math right. Um, so we've got three, uh, four cots here, another duplicate coming tomorrow. We need to build some more beds and I want to dig up this so we can put some um, tiles down tomorrow. So I'm going to dig every second tile along here. And this, this toilet's only got three visits left. See the little arrow on the meter to the side there? 
gives you an idea of how close it is to being uh, needing proper cleaning. Um, you can see them washing all the germs off there. Nice. So yeah, algae. We've got algae down here. I can actually go, if I dig all the way down and across into there, that could uh, help us out quite a lot. <laughs> so the hatches, these are the coolest guys. Um, he'll poop out some carbon in a second. Uh, carbon, coal rather. See a little coal produced? Nice. All right, speed up. Skill point earned, that's gotta be Joshua's, right? Yeah, there we go. So skill, Joshua can be better at construction. So, uh, Nice. Winner, winner. Uh, I might dig out that tile as well. So a good amount of oxygen down here. It's really running quite thin up here. One of the reasons I built these beds further apart was so that um, when the oxygen runs thin around them, um, if you pack them all tight, too tight together, they'll actually wake up quite a lot and go, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. In fact, I'm going to do a little deconstruction here and let this carbon run out um, through there and I'll block it up with a door colony earned an achievement what did we get there uh, that's a bug <laughs> we didn't do that automated building using sensors or switches from the automation tab in the build menu. Yeah, we didn't do that. So that would seem to be a bug to me. We haven't even unlocked automation yet. Weird. Um, right, so I want this to be a priority and these to be a priority. In fact, this is even more priority. And I'm going to pop a door in there and I'm going to lock it so that it will allow gas to flow through. And I may just do the same down here too, because I want, I want to get some oxygen flowing up and some carbon flowing down. So I think we might really get that all sorted out as quick as possible. And we'll lock that door. Alright, so we can see some carbon going down there. It's good. And deconstruct that tile as well. Looking pretty good. When do we get our next duplicate? Oh, it's today. Yeah, so I bit, need to be a little careful of that. I need to get a bed ready for them as well. Oh, we do that. Probably, it's probably going to be up here. Let's get those to be a priority. And another door in. Oh, I should not build that one though, because I might again need the air to flow through there. Uh, we'll get another cot in there. And another door there. Have we got any more oxyphones yet? No. What happened? Didn't we have another one? There was a seed up here or something, I thought. 
Alright, uh, so we've got liquid bridge, pipe, pumps, and vents. We can't use any of those yet. We're, um... We're waiting for, um... Lost my train of thought there. Waiting for something. Don't know. Um. Lock that one. We dig up that. And there's another thing there. Some more here. Lock that and that. Oxy ferns. We're not getting any seeds from, from digging out these tiles, unfortunately, so I'm not sure what that's about. Um, these two are about to run out. We need to get some um, rust, I think. Hmm. Or I can pop open this. Don't know. run out of capacity with the oxy ferns, that's for sure. Uh, I will dig up that one because it's um, not going to be able to do too much over there. And I might just dig out a little path up here to let this carbon filter down to the bottom there, helping push some of that oxygen up. seven seconds for our next duplicate hopefully somebody good i might may not take them if it's not good we need a chef and we need a um got a fair bit of food there we need a chef and we need a farmer still they're probably the most important ones so let's see what we get um research no farming hey abe excellent he's uncultured and a pacifist well that's absolutely perfectly fine Excellent. Abe is going to be our farmer. Alright, so now I can take um, Barney off farming. And I can put Abe on farming. And I can turn Barney over to operating and turn Joshua off um, operating. Barney can also do supply as a relatively high task, but not as high as operating. So that looks pretty good. Now, um, pretty happy with that. That's worked out well, getting a farmer. We still need a chef though, and this food will get eaten pretty quickly now that we've got five duplicates. Uh, let's get another oxy fern. Hey, where's the, there it is. They were just delivering it to the storage bin, I suppose. Ah, uh, now I've made a bit of a, problem for myself by putting that storage bin in the path of that um, pip you want. She's going to go right over to it and start emptying it out. Dang. Uh, can we put like a door there to stop him? Like as a matter of priority. Quick! Don't let him in! Oh man. Here he goes. See all the stuff coming out of the storage bin? Open that, but I don't need to. I will actually put that door back to auto to stop the uh, shine bugs going in there. Now I've trapped this pip in there story with the storage bin. That's not what I wanted. Let's get him out of there if I can. 
What are they doing over here? Ah, oh, they're moving all the metals into the storage bin. It's kind of fair enough. It's not exactly urgent, though. Attribute increase for Barney. Another level of athletics. Nearly out of power, so Barney should actually be prioritizing a um, resupply, a uh, operation job there, but she's in the middle of doing a supply, so she'll finish that task. I uh, shouldn't have all these duplicates running around delivering stuff like that, it's not effective. I need to get more digging done. And what is this stuff up here? Phosphorite. Ah, it's weird brown color up here. Phosphorite's normally a sort of purplish color. Uh, that's igneous rock. There, ph phosphorite. But uh, the tiles are affected by the background color, apparently. So, interesting. Um, digging and building. Alright, everybody's going to have a bit of an eat. And... Uh, Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of this pip. Otherwise he's going to keep emptying the storage container. But I think we might wrap up this episode here. And um, stay tuned for the next episode. Where we plan and do things. I don't know what's next. We'll um, come back with a plan though, that's for sure. Thanks for watching. See you soon.